Trying to pervert the mission. Pervert. 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 Fuck it up. Twist it. Twist the actual noble goal of protecting free speech online with the fucking cesspool piece of shit Kiwi Farms. Lately on this channel, I feel like I've been covering too many dark topics, you know, things like pedophilia and rape and molestation and just general, just awful shit. You know, I feel like I've been covering a little bit too much of that stuff, so I figured, fuck it, let's just cover another one, right? But honestly, though, if you really think about it, right, pedophiles and rapists make up such a disproportionate amount of YouTubers, right? Like, everybody's either a pedophile or a rapist. It's like, okay, big fucking deal. You know, we've, we've, seen, we've seen enough of this. All right, what's the big deal? If there's one thing we've been lacking, it's been incest. You know, there's not there's not been enough incest lately. There's not really been enough incest. Keemstar, do you I'm think about to patent some sissy hypno? Uh, Keem, what are your advice. what are your thoughts on incest? I'm curious. I think it's hilarious. I would never yeah. do it. I agree. Do you think incest is more initial? Incest is hilarious. Wait. Yeah, dude, if you find out that, like, one of your buddies or just, like, some YouTuber online is, like, fucking his sister, that is hilarious. Like, that's funny. It is a good meme, yeah. Well, Has a YouTuber funny. ever been exposed for incest? <laughs> fucking the... Oh. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to talk about this today. I, an artist YouTuber fucked his sister. Lol. What the fuck did this guy do? And why is everyone talking about him all of a sudden? James Bear? Who the fuck is this? Imagine if Christian lacked autism <laughs> and Barb consented. You know, that kind of reminds me of a, of a take one of my friends had uh, back in the day about uh, Christian. Hey, Tommy, you, you want to see Smaggle Daggle's big take? <laughs> sure. Unironically, though, what's the big fucking deal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Chan and her mom are two consenting adults. No, they're not! Yeah, YouTube, YouTube commentators be like, Chris Chan's mom is a consenting adult, and you guys are taking this way too far. <laughs> so, like, Hannah Clark just put a video of me responding to this. Hold on. In a while, commentary community incest. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, very few people will uh, spit the truth like Smaggle does. Let me tell you right there. So there's this art YouTuber called James Bear, art YouTuber, animation YouTuber. He's one of the, he draws shit, okay? He, he draws shit and he gets a lot of views. That's literally what he does, okay? And apparently, well, there's this document that exists uh, called The Truth About James Bear, which goes into extensive ass detail, 200 pages of this shit. You know, if I ever need content, I guess I'll look through some of this other stuff because I'm sure there, there, I'm sure there's a lot. Uh, of stuff on this guy, but apparently the stuff in here is like such an open secret, right? Like everybody just kind of knows about this, but for some reason also doesn't. I don't know. On page 13, though, there uh, was something that was quite interesting that was uh, listed in the document. This is a allegedly a DM uh, from him on Twitter. So I wanted to read it and go over it. It all began in February 2013 when I began to get a little friend called... <laughs> Depression. I didn't know at the time, and I did something terrible. I had sex with my sister, which at the time I was 13 and she was nine. Fuck. <laughs> Look, I don't mean to laugh at a, at a serious situation like this. I, I I just gotta, you know, listen. I use dark comedy, all right, to cope. Okay, I use edgy jokes to cope. Just kidding. Everybody that says that is a fucking liar, dude. People always say that, like, you know. 11 like fucking Muslim kids will get bombed, you know in the Middle East and then here in the United States Everybody will make jokes about it on Twitter and then when they're confronted about these jokes They'll be like dude. I was just I was coping. I was making edgy jokes to cope. No, you weren't motherfucker You were just wanting to make some edgy jokes. Okay, just, just shut up and admit it. Okay, but look all right I, I I'm coping. Okay, I'm coping and I'm using edgy jokes to cope here with how seriously fucked up this is I, but I just gotta point out, like, you can't not laugh at this shit, right? Like, like, what do you mean you had a little friend called depression and it just made you rape your sister? Just made you. And why are you confessing this in a Twitter DM? But whatever, okay, let's keep going. If it makes you feel better, I'm suffering emotionally. Oh, okay, dude. <laughs> so, so you regret it. Alright, so, you know what? 
so, it, it's it, it's fine now. All right, he he feels bad. He's suffering emotionally, guys. He's suffering. You know who else is suffering? Probably your sister. Probably a little bit more than emotionally. I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of emotional suffering there, but my, there might be a little bit more suffering on top of that. I, I, I don't know. I'm just saying. And I did it because of depression. No, you didn't, motherfucker. Depression does. Depression doesn't make you do anything close to that. Okay, that's your own actions. Someone told me that depression can't make you do things, and we've been doing it till I'm gonna say till between 2015 and 2016, and I know it's still affecting me. In 2014, I got beat up outside in the cold winter night, and I got sick, and that sickness could have killed me. Who cares? In 2015, I got sick again, but while I was sick, I cried myself to sleep, and I began to lose friends. My depression kept getting to me. My dad emotionally abused me too. And so, January 23rd, 2016, I began to felt like shit, and I nearly took my own life, but I didn't and went to sleep. My friend Alex got worried and phoned the RCMP, and they took me to the hospital, and they were checking on me to see if I'm okay, but I was. So yeah, I gotten sick again, but I'm okay. So yeah, that's what happened. But don't tell anyone, by the way, three emojis. Now, is this allegation real? Is this screenshot real? Is any of this real? Is this real? Well, apparently he uh, allegedly responded to uh, th this particular detail in the document, right? You know, like I said before, this document, you know, it's not so too well known, but 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 a lot of people do know about it, right? And so a lot of people were pressuring him to respond and be like, hey, well, uh, what the fuck's going on here, right? James Bear just responded to the goddamn allegations. Oh boy, a Twitter link. Let's, uh, uh, let's see what the response was. Ah, fuck. The tweet's been deleted. Shit, man. Shit, man. Well, good thing we got trustyolarchive.org, all right? right? Let's, let, let's see what the response was. L let's just take a look. With what's being brought up about me, I have to admit about the sister thing. It did happen, but only once, when we were just kids. And it was consensual. <laughs> Anything else about me being a pedophile or grooming on minors is not true whatsoever. Those messages were over four years old to a 13 year old while I was only 16 years old. Therefore, I was a minor myself. Okay. I made a mistake when I was a kid and I didn't know that it was bad, but those mistakes I made back all those years ago don't define who I am today. I'm a completely different person. I will be taking a break since the threats and false accusations have taken a huge toll on Claire and I's mental health. So yeah, I just wanted to clear the air on that front. Well, he cleared the air, guys. He, he, he let the whole world know what happened, all right? So it wasn't multiple times. It was just once. And they were kids. And it was consensual. Now, obviously, such a stunning confession like that, you know, obviously, I didn't think it was real, and I'm still questionable on it, of course. You know, I don't know 100%. I only know, like, 99.9%, .9%, right? So, where is this account coming from, first of all? All right, let's do a little bit of research and a little bit of digging, all right? This is coming from an account called Doodle Jam. Doodle Jam. It reminds me of Doodle Tones, who I'm pretty sure was an insane person, but I can't remember. Well... Remember, all right, this this screenshot comes from Doodle Jam, D20s, Doodle Jam, okay, blah, 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 here's the fucking account. How do we know that's the same person as James Bear, okay? That's James Bear, not Doodle Jam. Well, I had to do some deep research, I had to do some deep anal, all right, to figure it out, okay? So here's the deal, go to channels, here's James, okay? This is his other channel when he gets bored of fucking his sister, I guess, I don't know. All right, so on his other channel here, okay, you can see he has a Twitter linked. Aha! Uh -huh. We found it. So basically, unless there's some weird shenanigans going on here where this archive is completely wrong and, you know, uh, these people on uh, DeviantArt and everybody that's talked about this and everybody that shared this, unless everybody was fucking lying, made this shit up, held him at gunpoint, forced him to write this, unless something like that happened, he got hacked, and the hacker fucking wrote this out and tweeted it, which I guess, you know, given how crazy the internet is, I guess these are all possibilities that are not that out there in the open. He wrote this shit, and then he deleted it, and he hasn't talked about it since, right? And again, obviously this shit floats around, all right? I'm not breaking any news here. I'm not breaking any stories here, you know? People every now and again bring this shit up, and they're like, yo, what? What the fuck is this all about, right? And this guy is doing fucking great on YouTube, dude. He's getting like a thousand subs a day or something, right? You click on his videos, you see they got an ass load of views, especially the most recent one. And 
Although I'm sure it's gotten a huge influx of views because people are talking about this situation and wondering why hasn't he talked about this, right? I mean, look at the top comments. Okay, but her eyes genuinely look cool like that. Maybe it's just James' art style. Can we appreciate that James got the Animal Crossing gibberish right? Claire honestly looks cute with colored eyes. James, you look like an angel. Claire, oh thank you. James, that wasn't a compliment. Everyone's talked about Claire's eyes. I'm old enough to remember when James and Claire spoke to each other. Lol, that note at the end was priceless. None of these comms are talking about fucking his sister, okay? Obviously not. <laughs> None of them are talking about that, right? Nobody on his channel seems to be aware of this uh, situation, of this allegation, right? And he doesn't seem to be talking about it other than in that deleted post that we went over where, you know, back in what, September 12th of 2020, he talked about it, right? So I have a question, right? Is the animation community, are they just covering this up or do they just not know? What the fuck's going on here? Why is this a thing? Why? I mean, it's important to note that not everybody is willing to let this shit slide, okay? Motherfuckers are playing Sonic and, and coming out a year ago. I have proof that James Bear had sex with his sister. Part two. Jesus. Okay, so before this video begins, I would like to say that I'm recording this on my phone, so the video quality might be worse than usual. This man stopped at nothing to bring you guys the, the news, all right? This is a hero. Whoever this is, Fifth Nif, you're a hero. Now, with that being said, let's get on to the video. James Bear is a very popular YouTuber slash animator with over 150,000 subscribers. So, first off, let's begin with the incest. Basically... <laughs> let's... <laughs> let's begin with the incest. That's what I like to hear. Uh, the story is that James had sex with his sister when he was 16 or 13. The ages vary, and he could be lying. We don't know, or something. I, it's confusing. You know, that's a good possibility, right? He could be lying. He could be making this up as a social experiment or a prank, you know? Maybe he's just doing a little bit of trolling. Using, But basically, uh, he had sex with his sister, um, either 13 or 16, but he was born in 1999. The stuff happened in 2016, so he would have been 16 at the time, but that's besides the point. <laughs> oh my god. While editing the vid, I found out that James deleted the tweet. I think this further shows how much of a pussy he is. So not only did he fuck his sister, but he's a little pussy-ass beta bitch. James Bear, if you're watching this, you should respond. <laughs> I'm not that fucking drunk, bitch. But I'll stick my fingers deep in your anus. Smell the filthy shit you ate at half past eight before I made you famous. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck some bitches with the whole three and a half inches. Or just lay there motionless with my gut out. Fucking taking pictures. Diabetic Richmond. Yeah. 